Alrighty, traders, welcome back. It is Monday, May 20th, 2024. I am back from vacation. A uh, good week off, uh, great relaxing time, although I don't know if it's super relaxing. Did a ton of uh, boating, hiking, kayaking, you name it. It was great. Uh, spend a week in Lake Tahoe, but back and trading uh, this week. Didn't do a lot of videos last week. I'm going to try to catch that up this week, and uh, we'll try to get something daily to you, if not more often. Um, I'm going to get into today's trades. Great day today. Uh, we're going to talk about what we did. We're going to look at the account uh, today. And then, uh, but before I start that, I want to, I'm going to read something. So what, what I want to do is I, I grabbed a book that I'd taken on vacation that I've read a couple of times, older book, not huge, uh, but I'm going to open it to a random page, uh, chapter here. Okay. Chapter 13. Okay. And I'm going to credit this uh, book. It's called How to Trade by Anthony Lowell and Tucker Steep. Uh, and this book is older, and I don't, I have no idea when I first got this book or even where I got this book. But every now and then, I like to just kind of reread some things and take a look. I can't even find a copyright on this thing, so I have no idea when they even made this book. Uh, looks like 2013, so this book's been around a while, but I, you know, there's, there's a lot of things I like in this little book, and I, I like to. Now again, take some of these things on vacation, just reread it, re-engage and re-figure out, you know, are we doing the right things to, to make money? And again, not everything in this book do I follow at all. I'm just looking for one or two things that I can take away. And chapter 15 in here, I'm going to read it uh, and, and, and give you a couple of bullet points, but why be a trend follower? And I think that really makes a lot of sense with what we do with many of the types of trades uh, that we do, but we do use technical analysis. We don't use super in-depth, crazy technical analysis. Although when I show charge, people are like, oh, that's a ton of spaghetti. I don't, you don't need all of that. I'm just looking at a couple of things. I'm looking at a couple of moving averages. I'm looking at the trend direction uh, that we're going. And then I use the MACD, the RSI and the squeeze to give me a sense of, is the momentum there to keep that trend going? So why be a trend follower? Let me go through a, a couple of things. First off, uh, You'll profit in any kind of market. The reason being is that there's always a trend to be traded. Uh, and I really like that. There's, I don't care if it's you're in a bearish mode on bonds, but you're in a bullish mode on uh, the ES. Either way, or a bullish mode on gold, or a bullish mode on copper or silver. Any, any way you look at it, there's always a bull or a bear market. And then there's some that are just not trending at all. Why not just put yourself in the right frame of, of reference to give yourself the best chance to be successful? Now, we're probability traders and we use strategies that are going to give us the best chance to win. But what if you can enhance those probabilities just a little bit by trading with the trend? Okay, So if I'm going to sell a put, why would I sell a put in something that's in a downtrend? It's going to hurt my probability of success. Now, I will agree with uh, the fact that volatility tells you everything you need to know about the trend. You probably don't even need to look at charts because volatility is telling you, are you taking on more or less risk? If a chart is technically downtrending, you're going to find that if you looked at the IV, it's going to be increasing, right? Because there's more risk in the trade in something that's trending down. So if I'm trying to sell puts, for example, well, if you're selling puts in something with low IV, typically you're trading with the trend, okay? Because IV is low, there's less volatility. If it's moving downwards though, and I'm selling puts, I'm going to be collecting more premium, which is great, but you're also maybe fighting the trend a bit. Now you're getting paid to fight the trend, okay? But I don't like to fight the trend either way, whether you pay me for it or not. Uh, lost plenty of trades where their great, premium's great and you just try to trade premium, but you ignore the overall trend on the indicator. So I like the fact that you can profit in any kind of market. <laughs> the next one here is no more buy and hold crazy Jim Cramer or CNBC. Uh, absolutely. It doesn't involve discretion. I mean, you, you've got a set of rules that we look for to place our trades. Okay, We're not having to watch TV or watch the news or try to figure out what's going on and what the talking heads are saying. To me, news is mostly noise. News is also factored in 
to the IV. It's also factored into the trend. It's factored into the price action. You don't need to watch news and know what inventories are going to be or this or that or the other thing and try to come up with someone's thesis or your own thesis of where we're going. Just look at the price action and it'll tell you, okay, are we going up or are we going down? Okay. Uh, so trend trading, pretty simple. Uh, you know, profits in the center of the perfect storm. Here it works in uh, pretty much any market, but the goal is to make good returns here. So if you're trading with the trend, okay, no matter what's going on around you, you're giving yourself the best chance to win. Uh, sound risk management, when you're trading with the trend, you're able to identify, I think, uh, stop targets, uh, especially if you're trading like put credit spreads or naked puts. You can figure out where potential stops or uh, support levels might be. Um, the madness of crowds works to your advantage. Absolutely. Okay. Look at, you know, look at GameStop, look at AMC, look at those, you know, these stocks. When the crowds get rolling and the momentum starts to move up, okay, you're trading in the direction of the crowd. Uh, and markets are always changing, but people's behaviors are driven by impulse and most inexperienced traders they're just out there following what everyone else is doing okay they don't have their own ideas okay they're out there just saying, oh what did he say okay i'm going to trade that trade okay because you don't have a plan and you're just winging it okay but if you've got a plan and you're using sound technical analysis and trading with the trend okay then the madness of the crowds can work to your advantage okay a couple other things here now i'll, I'll move on uh you know, allows you to profit without devoting your life to, to ticks. Absolutely. If we're moving in an uptrend, okay, I'm looking typically at a weekly uptrend or a weekly downtrend, okay? What's the weekly trend telling me? Because I'm a longer-term option seller. I'm trading 60, 90, 120 DTE, maybe even leaps or more. I'm selling premium on those, but I'm a longer-term trader. I don't care what the tick is. I don't care what the... Uh, the five minute chart, the 10 minute chart, the one hour chart, the four hour chart. I don't even care a whole lot about the daily chart. Okay. I don't have to look every single day. If I'm watching a weekly chart, it's easy to tell what the trend is by looking once a week. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, and then let's see. Uh, the market doesn't care about you or know you, it doesn't care about your dreams. It's the ultimate authority, so you better listen to it, okay? I'm going to leave it at that, okay? I really like that one, is the market is always smarter than you, okay? How do you put yourself in agreement with what else is going on out there? The simple reason is follow the trend, okay? Don't try to outsmart the market and figure, okay, this is the day that it reverses, whatever. And now I like I love reversals, but I love to see some confirmation, okay? The charts and the trend can tell you what's happening, Okay, just watch the price action, people, and don't watch the news. Don't watch CNBC. Don't watch Kramer. Don't watch uh, any of these other channels out there. Don't listen to the news. Don't be posting all the Twitter stuff that you read. I don't trust any of that stuff. Okay? All I trust is what am I seeing in the price action of the charts? Okay? So I wanted to share some of that with you. Be a trend follower. Put yourself in the best chance to be successful with your trades, and you're going to see a whole lot uh, better returns on your trading. All right, so let's just jump into it, and let's just jump into the account. Let me get myself off the screen so you guys can see uh, what's going on here. So here we are. Last week, we ended up whopping 16 bucks to the good. The reason for that was mostly uh, Thursday and Friday, we had a lot of put debit spreads come off. So if we look at uh, Friday, the um, the 17th, okay, you had, yeah, we had a winning trade in a gold, uh, a gold naked put come off, but then we also had, on that day, we had put debit spread here expire, a put debit spread here expire on NQ, a put debit spread expire on oil, another put debit spread expire on oil, um, all those in like a two day span. These were all put debit spreads, about four grand worth. We'd already realized the gains from the naked puts. Okay. But that's where we ended up uh, the week. But hey, 16 bucks while boating, enjoying yourself, hiking in the mountains, 
and uh, and paying really no attention to what the markets are doing. Not too shabby uh, out there. Uh, all right, so if I'm looking here as well, take myself off the screen, maybe you can see a little bit better. Uh, all right, so there's where we ended the week. Uh, new all-time highs, which was great, but today smashed the new all-time highs. So we're uh, we're up ahead of new all-time highs. In fact, we crossed the five hundred thousand dollar mark uh, in this portfolio. Uh, so we've been at this for about five years in this portfolio. We started with about thirty k. We put a little bit into it uh, once or twice, and that's it. Uh, the rest of this has just been on trading gains. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good overall returns. Uh, we did put thirty thousand dollars into this account, uh, you know, back here in March, uh, but uh, that's not calculated into. It's calculated into the overall net leg, but it's not calculated into our returns. Right? So we're sitting here at five hundred thousand dollars, and the goal here is to get this account to two million dollars by twenty twenty nine. So we've got four more years. The rest of this year, then twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Uh, four more years uh, to get in to get this thing to two million dollars. Can we can we get there? We're going to give it a, a, a pretty good try. Uh, and where do we end up with the Delta uh, today? 185 Delta, which is 0 0.04. So very Delta neutral market can go up or down and we don't really care. Uh, theta well, moved up to 1360 today. We did add some more Theta to this account, 0.27%, which is not bad considering where the VIX is sitting down at 12, 12 15 uh, on the VIX. So not too, not too good on the VIX uh, and not a whole lot of volatility. So we, I'm pretty happy with that 1360. Again, uh, end of the day at 500,819. So again, a new all time high and smashing the half a million dollar mark in this portfolio. Buying power tipped up just a fraction to 295, 202. If we subtract the bill BP, in fact, the bill BP is actually 5418. Uh, so we'll, we'll put that in there. We'll update that since we haven't updated it in a while, uh, which puts us at 48.89, 48.9, something like that. We are actually under our allocation of 50%, uh, but I, I like it where we are. So we're in good shape. And today we booked, booked realized gains of $8,901. So fantastic realized gains today. What was that? Where do we make that money? Uh, well, the first uh, one was in ES. We closed the naked puts of a 112 trade, of a long-term 112 trade, LT112. We closed that for 71.20. Uh, and then we also closed the naked puts of a ZB, a bond 112 trade. We just closed the naked puts on that as well. Both of those for roughly 95% winners. Uh, so together, that's going to give you $8,900 in realized profits today. So really, really happy with, with where we are. Let's take a look at how the, the year and the month are, is going. We are now up 18% in realized gains for the year. 18%. Now, market not doing too shabby at up 12%, but we are up 18%. We are outdoing the market by 50 points, so 50%. Uh, so 50 basis, 50%, uh, I'm sorry, higher than the, the market. We're averaging 3.9% a month versus the market at 2.6%. All right, so our goal is 3% a month. And we're at, we're averaging nearly four percent a month, and we're doing it with our buying power being under fifty most of the time, okay, or right around fifty most of the time. We are not up to the sixties and seventies. In fact, if we go back, we would have to go back quite a ways to see a day or two that we popped into the sixties with some volatility in early in mid April. Uh, but other than that, I mean, we're in the forty percent the last couple of days, uh, and barely. 50%. So we're doing great without extending our portfolio further than it needs to be. 3.9% on the year. We have booked realized profits now uh, for the year uh, of 76805 So we've made $76,805 uh, in this account in not quite four months. Okay, we've got another a week, this week to go and a chunk of next week as well. Uh, so we've got so, you know, some definite time to go in this, but we're up at 76,805. Not too shabby considering we started the year at about $400,000. We did put the 30 grand in, 
Uh, but other than that, it's all been realized gains uh, on the year. So pretty happy with, with where we are. The net lick itself is up 17.7%, so almost 18% there uh, on net lick. So we're 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 pretty great uh, on this from where we want it to be. So I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, again, the gains for the month of May. Uh, so far, we've got about six grand in long-term 112s, about three grand in bond strangles, a little bit in oil 112s, a little bit in bond 112s. Uh, these 112s on futures, that's just, I think, a, P, a, a bond, or that's a loss in one of them. I'll have to take a quick look. Okay, we've also uh, just had the put debit spread of a BA112 expire. We're up two grand in zero DTE, and we didn't trade it hardly at all. We traded one day last week because I had like an hour or two before we headed out for some activities. Uh, we're up four grand on 120 day naked puts. Uh, our bill has paid off 814 for the month, three grand for the year, and our spec trades up a whole 158 bucks, but we'll take it. So again, we're up 16,938 on the month. Uh, we've got time to go, so we could uh, see this as the one of the largest months of all, uh, but we're really up around $77,000 in just four and a half months. Uh, so uh, pretty, pretty happy with that. Uh, we've also got a 90% win rate. So we've won 90% of our trades, making 76 grand, okay, and being up 18% on the year. So not too shabby. Yes, the market's in pretty good shape for the year. And, uh, you know, we're chasing it a little bit uh, with that 12% up, but we're, we are definitely uh, outperforming uh, with everything that's going on. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think we need to cover a whole lot. Uh, I spent a lot of time with the members today going through charts. We identified, because we had opportunities to buy today, uh, we were looking at ES, uh, lending itself to uh, adding some 112s there, oil, 112s, and strangles, which we put a strangle on. In gold, uh, we, we could put uh, either ratio spreads or 112 trades on. We actually did a 112 in gold, set up pretty well. Uh, in the NQs, uh, they set up well for a 112, RTY set up for a 112, and live cattle set itself up for a strangle. Uh, so there's the trades that we identified from members in the member video today. So there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different tickers, bonds. We looked at strangle in there as well, but we already had some on. So seven tickers and nine trade opportunities today. So depending on what you're looking for, we had something for you and uh, we're, we're doing great. So uh, happy with where we are. You guys have a great rest of your evening. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, some stock picks as well as continuing to uh, see if there's anything coming off. We've got some trades really close to coming off. They just haven't done it yet. If one comes off tomorrow, uh, we've got plenty of trades lined up that we can put on uh, when our buying power tells us we can do so. All right. I hope this was helpful for everybody here. And I hope some of those takeaways at the beginning of why we look at the trends, why we look at the charts to, to A, keep us out of trouble. Why would I do a strangle when something's looking like this? Okay, it looks like the chart behind me here. So if I move over, I mean, if, you, if the chart's looking like this, I can't even point because I'm going the opposite way. Okay, if the chart looks like this, why are you putting a strangle on? Okay, put a one, one, two trade on when the thing goes up and then it moves down. So when we're going up and then we're backing down here uh, on these charts, one, one, two opportunities, okay? Or 120 day naked puts, leaps, whatever you might wanna put on makes sense. Strangles don't make sense in a market that's going parabolic on you, okay? It doesn't make sense when the momentum is strong. If the crowd is involved, get out of the way and just let the thing settle down. Okay? I get it, you can make some money on your AMCs and your game stocks. Good luck with that. If you got in at the right time, you made some money. If you got in at the wrong time, you lost a bunch of money. I just made money, period. Okay, And I'm up 18% for the year. All right. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your evening. If you felt this video was helpful, please click the like button down below and help me out. Uh, let's put the channel out there. Share this with as many people as you can. Let's help as many people get a trading plan together, trade safely, trade smartly, uh, and make some money. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We've got lots of stuff coming out this week. I, I'm telling you, I'm going to put at least five 
or six videos out uh, this week on some pretty cool things that I think you'll really be interested in. And if you want to obviously check us out and see what we're doing in the Discord, you want to see how I went through all of those uh, options today and figured out what trades we wanted to put on. You want to see how I manage the portfolios in there. You want to get the ins and outs of when to get in, when to get out, and how to help build your trade plan. We're going to help walk you through the process, figure out what the right thing is for you, and uh, put you on the uh, path to success. All right. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.